More than 600,000 cultural relics are conserved at the Taipei Imperial Palace Museum. Amongst them, the literati paintings are quite outstanding. One of the most important motifs in literati painting is that of scholars sipping tea while engaging in lively conversation. China is the motherland of tea, while the mainland offers pu'er tea or tia guangyin tea, Taiwan has wen sha bao zhong tea and tung ting oolong tea among others. A Ming Dynasty masterpiece is conserved at the Imperial Palace Museum of Taiwan. In tea tasting, the painter Wen Jian Ming depicts scholars during a tea tasting session under a thatch pavilion. A child crouches next to the shed, boiling water for the tea, while one of the guests seems to be just arriving as we see him crossing a bridge. A poem has been added to the painting, vividly portraying the leisurely lifestyle of literati. Another of the great four in Ming Dynasty paintings, Tang Yin, also produced a spellbinding depiction of a tea tasting in his serving tea. Conserved at the Imperial Palace of Beijing, the painting depicts two pine trees in front of a thatched courtyard. A scholar leans on a child as he crosses the bridge, the other scholars waiting quietly in the cottage. In the background, the mountains emerge from their foggy trappings, adding to the poised serenity of the scene. Another frequent activity embarked upon by the literati was the group study of calligraphy. This painting entitled Assembly of Scholars in the Western Garden is a copy from a work by renowned Ming Dynasty painter Cho Ying and is conserved at the Taipei Imperial Museum. The gentleman we see about to brush to paper is the famous Northern Song Dynasty scholar Su Shi. Meanwhile, Li Gonglin is readying himself to paint while Master Yuan Tong is discussing Buddhist scripture. On the bottom right of the picture, one finds the painter Mi Fu leaving an engraved memory of the meeting itself. There are 16 scholars in the painting in a scene whose collective intellect seems to leap outside the scroll itself. Within collection of paintings of the Beijing Imperial Palace, many depict imperial aristocrats such as the painting Gathering in the Bamboo Garden or the Wu Tong Gathering, both of which present depictions of scholarly gatherings at the royal court. This painting entitled Listening to the Zither is a lively depiction of a musical education that royalty and nobility enjoy. Emperor Song Hui Zong is absorbed in his playing of the zither while his prime minister Tsai Jing listens attentively. China's history is replete with literati yearning for the quiet and peaceful life of the countryside. The Taipei Imperial Palace Museum conserves the imposing scholar under the willow shade, depicts the contented life and seclusion of the poet Tao Yuan Ming of the Eastern Jing Dynasty. Under a willow tree, the poet sits barefoot while contemplating a bowl filled with liquor, ready to drink himself into inspiration. Here's a further type of literati painting. This is the case of the painting of the Peach Blossom Utopia exhibited at the Tianjin Museum in mainland China. Also by Cho Ying, the painting shows three scholars sitting on the ground while enjoying the playing of a zither. We see that their young assistants, one to the left carrying a basket, the other busying himself with scrolls that he is carrying across the bridge. These paintings, conserved on both the shores of the Taiwan Straits, recreate together ancient China's scholarly tradition as well as its intimate and harmonious relationship with nature. <laughs>